He started watching the show when he was about five years old. Nobody, I mean nobody, loves the Dukes of Hazard more than Nathan Cassie. I have a, a neon sign. He's got it all, from action figures to lunch boxes. The Dukes of Hazard even tuck him in at night. His piano even whistles Dixie. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? His car does too. Nathan's General Lee is more than just a car. It represents so much more. He said when they lose their will to live, we lose them. You've got to think of something that's going to give him the will to live. It's been a long, painful road for Nathan and his family since his birth. When Nathan was eight weeks old, he was given an overdose at a hospital, and they gave him enough to kill an adult. He died. He went into cardiac arrest and died. It doesn't and, um, end there. From five weeks old to age four, he had seven brain surgeries. It still doesn't end there. He was 12 and a half to 14. He had 18 more brain surgeries, so he's had a total of 25. Nathan needed a beacon of hope, something to live for. It's probably not said often, but the Dukes of Hazard and the General Lee became his beacon. The only thing I can think of is, is that car and John Snyder. He wanted to meet Bo Duke so bad. Right. <laughs> yeah. With the help of Branson star Paul Harris, it became a reality. Harris flew Nathan and his family to California to meet one of the good old boys. <laughs> they weren't running from Roscoe or Boss Hog, but Nathan did get to cruise around California with Bo Duke himself in John Schneider's very own General Lee. He took me on the road to my film, A Dutch Hazard. John gave him sun visors, his sun visors, and autographed them to Nathan. He said, that way you can have something of mine in your car. Now, back to the car that calls Hollister, Missouri home. Nathan's mom, Priscilla, who has endured the loss of not only a husband, but another child, says she turned to God to find the strength to grant Nathan's wish. So I go by the car, carry it off in pieces, and um, started a guy working on the motor. Nathan's story started spreading and help started pouring in to get the car finished. The guy who made the original uh, caps for the wheels for the show, I got a hold of him, he just gave them to us. Finally, it was done. Why were you crying, Nathan? He said, because I never thought I'd live to see my car get finished. Or so they thought. Nathan's General Lee is nearly impeccable on the outside. The numbers on the side, Bo Duke actually gave those to him. But unfortunately, it's what's under the hood that you can't see where the real problems lie. The starter, the alternator, the rear end, it breaks down on us like all the time. <laughs> now the Hazard County Calvary is coming to the rescue. Tom Sarmento, the stunt guy from the original Dukes drove it. The stunt driver from the original show is getting a group of mechanics together, traveling to Hollister to make Nathan's car complete. All of the guys own 69 Chargers. They all have garages with, with tons of good parts. And when his car is truly finished, Nathan has just one more request. I want to take my car to California and drive my car on the road. And that's what my dream is. But my mom told me that won't never happen. I know it will. Jay Scherter, KY3 News.